Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to use this Android Borescope camera for Android phones. Basically this Borescope is used to view areas where it's hard to access such as ceilings with narrow passages to locate cables for example or to look at engine mounts or areas where it's hard to view especially in a car where you need to go and inspect certain areas where there's not accessible and this is a perfect tool that you can use it basically uses the you need an android phone with a um, usb micro connection so if you go one of those you need to make sure that you can use it to connect the camera to it and then you need to install an app now the app that I was using and came with this particular borescope is no longer accessible so I did find another app that I was able to use to connect this camera so let's get started okay, the first thing you need to do is obviously to install the app so the app that I'm using is called RealVisor Camera 2019 you need to download the APK file from the website I couldn't really find it on the Android App Store so Google Play so you just need to look for it on the internet somewhere I can put a link in the description but I won't do it this time if you do need to know where it is put, put a, a comment and I'll get back to you with the link okay so you need to install the app once you have installed the app just run the software as you can see you need to make sure that you also connect the Android phone to the camera cable and it's using USB micro as you can see it's taking a visual of the camera it's recording it at the moment on the mobile phone as you can see in the top left hand side it's got the record button and also a photo button now on the camera cable there is this button but it's not working it's meant to take uh, uh, captures but it's not so the quality is 640 by 480 so it's really low quality but it does give you uh, a, a visual inspection of what you're looking at using the camera now if you disconnect it it won't work so you have to make sure you connect it just like that there are some settings that you can configure but I'll just leave those as default even changing the resolution to something higher on the settings does not really work so let's go back so these are the frame rates you can't really see it on the, on the, cap the camera at the moment but let's go and do the capture at the moment you see on the left hand corner it's not really recording you can change the some of the settings here but I'll leave all those to defaults and there is an option to capture the video on your PC as well or actually view the video live streamed on the PC when you go to this page you will see the IP address on the top right hand so corner let me just show you again and this scroll on wheel on the side increases the LED brightness so if you were in a dark area putting a, this in a cavity you will be able to capture something at least so now it's recording using the top left hand button and here we go this is the IP address you can't really see it but once you once you once you enter that on a PC browser you just gotta make sure you're on the same area network this is what you will see now you do need to enter the same IP address and port number that was displayed on the phone settings so let's access the USB camera now and here we go this is the video that's been displayed 
it's displayed in full screen but here we go you can see that I'm looking at the phone now and it basically works so there you go guys this is the borescope so if you're having troubles finding or looking for something in tight spaces then I would recommend you use this tool there are probably other more expensive tools out there but this does a job you can buy this on Amazon for around 10 to 20 dollars and it will do the job you may just use it once or you may use it a couple of times it depends on how you use it if this video helped you in any way please give it a like and subscribe to the channel